Alrighty guys, welcome to my channel, The Cross Red Boat, and I'm your host here, Hector. Um, just wanted to, I guess, put out there a video about how to properly torque down your main bearing caps, um, as far as the torque specifications and also the torque sequence. Um, I personally had an issue going, you know, trying to figure that out, and you know, I see different uh, torques, and if they give you, you know, maybe the right torque, or even half, they don't give you the sequence, and of course, these are very important components of the engine. You know, they hold your, your crankshaft on here. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, make sure everybody has uh, their correct information. And um, I got the information off a um, a very high-end uh, or professional uh, repair manual. I don't want to, you know, say their name because I don't know how that goes about. But, but I got that information and I just want to post a video out there on how to do it. Um, pretty much this is a short block off a um, 2010 uh, Chevy Traverse that I uh, recently acquired and um, it rolled the bearing so then I ended up replacing the crankshaft um, but um, like I said I struggled trying to figure out how to torque it down properly and I you know I ended up just getting a, a subscription and I just want to put a video out there on how to do it so we have 24 bolts in total and um, and we'll just categorize them in three different, you know, I guess, groups. Uh, first would be the inner bolts right here. So, of course, it would be the inner bolts closest to the, the center of the, the engine or crank shaft, how you want to, you know, refer to that as. And then after that, we'd do the outer bolts, which is the ones next to it. And, of course, the outer ones, you know. And then after, and last but not least would be the side bolts. Um, these side bolts go from outside the engine and those are the side bolts to the, the actual main bearing caps You know, so pretty much each mirror each main bearing cap has six bolts on it that needs to be tightened and they're all different um, They're different bolts and then also they all have different torque um, Specifications on there. So make sure when you take these apart you keep the inner ones with the inner ones and the outer ones with the outer ones, of course, side ones with the side ones. And um, what I did is I, you know, I kept them how they were. So when I put them in the ground or wherever in my tray, um, I, you know, I had them in the same sequence and I knew which ones go back to the exact same spot because I just did not want to, you know, mess around there since they're really high, you know, high torque bolts. Um, but the first uh, round of the bolts would be the inner bolts. So pretty much you're going to have to do first round would be 15 foot pounds. And then the second pass would be, and the final pass would be 80 degrees. So, I mean, I personally have a, a torque wrench that does both. So, you know, I don't know how, you know, I've seen guys put a paint mark and then, you know, just calculate 60 degrees. I mean, if you're good at that, then that would be the, you know, the other way to do it. But if not, then um, I have a digital torque wrench and, you know, that tells me um, the exact, you know, degrees it's going to. So... Um, we'll go first on the the inner bolts. So the inner bolts would be, you know, these ones are here, and the way they want you to the torque sequences for it would be you start with this one right here, and then you go from here to this one, and then from that one you jump up here and then go down, and um, well I guess um, we'll just go by the numbers I've made. Um, like I said, don't go, use this as a professional reference. This was just my personal reference, just to make it easier to for you guys. Uh, so then uh, berry cat number two. Oh, and also a quick note Make sure when you torque this it has to be this, you know setup. So on your left it has to be The where the sprocket goes, you know the front cover side, you know where the actual shaft is and you bolt everything up And then on this side will be your flywheel side. So make sure when you're torquing this down It has to be this exact same side um, Because then you know you, you don't want to do it from the other side and do it the you know reverse way You know it may not hurt the engine, but I don't want to put that information out there. So Please, you know, make sure that it's, you know, sprocket side or however you want to refer to the side is on your left and the flywheel side is on your right. <clears throat> so, so let's begin with uh, bearing cap number two right here. Uh, we'll start with this one and then we go down to this one. So it will be this one to this one. And after you torque those to 15 foot pounds, you jump up to three, you know, 15 foot pounds, 15 foot pounds, and then you jump to one. 15 up here and then 15 on here and then you jump all the way down to four and then it's 15 15 So I, once you you know you do that um, I always give it a quick spin make sure nothing's seizing up make sure now my uh, my my, um, my caps and uh, bearings are good in there uh, It's so nothing is seized up. So, you know, of course, just make sure it spins freely with no grab or resistance 
So once you did that first pass, now second pass for the inner bolt. So then go back to number two. Uh, we go 80 degrees here. And after, um, let me make sure here, yeah. Inner, you know. Yeah, so 80 degrees. So two of them go back to number two, 80 degrees. Then go down here, 80 degrees. Then jump up to three, 80 degrees. You know, down to number, you know, the lower part of three, 80 degrees. Jump up to one, 80 degrees, and 80 degrees for one, and then jump back to four, 80 degrees, and then 80 degrees again. And then you know, if you want to spin the engine, spin and make sure everything's good. Um, <clears throat> nothing's locked up. So once we do, we're finished with. So now uh, the inner bolts are done. They're they're been properly torqued. Then after that, we jump to, you know, we start doing the second, uh, the outer bolts. Um, so it pretty much follows the same sequence, but it's going to be the outer bolt. So don't confuse yourself and then torque down the, the inner bolts again, you know, thinking it was the outer bolts. And if you do, I would highly recommend that you just um, loosen up all the bolts and repeat the whole process again, um, just to ensure that everything has been properly, you know, torqued and then follow the exact... Um, sequence so then for the fine you know for the outer bolts um this is where it changes um the foot pounds torque would be 10 foot pounds so we go down to 10 from 15 and then the, the degrees is 110 uh so yeah so then we'll start again back to two outer bolts make sure you're doing an outer bolt so then we go from you know and of course we got to torque to another you know 10 foot pounds first so it'll be 10 you know foot pounds up here 10 foot pounds on here and then we jump to three 10 foot pounds up there 10 foot pounds on here we'll jump to one outer bolt make sure your outer bolt um 10 foot up 10 foot pounds up here 10 foot pounds on here and then we'll jump back to down to four uh 10 foot pounds up there and 10 foot pounds on here and like i said you can spin the engine whatever you need to do so now we're ready for the second um pass and final pass so we go back down to two again and then you know if you got a torque wrench whatever put that 110 degrees and then again we'll follow the same sequence so up here number two we go 110 degrees down to two, 110 degrees and then that's a three bearing cap number three 110 degrees and then lower end would be 110 degrees of course and back up to one 110 degrees uh bottom one is be 110 degrees and then we jump to four 110 degrees and then down to you know the lower outer part it's 110 degrees and then that you should be after you do that you should be done torquing the outer bolts and of course spin the engine make sure everything's good and freely moving um, and whatnot so then the last bolts will be the side bolts and you can't see them out here but you definitely see them when you put the engine on the side you know these bolts go straightly um, to the side of the, the bearing cap so you know um, but also when you take these um, if I remember correctly the outer ones are longer and the inner ones are shorter so you know even though they follow the same torques you know the torque specs um, but they you have to do them two separate uh, two different ways so we're gonna start with the middle ones and is what that's what the repair manual says you start with the middle ones and um, the foot pounds on that will be 22 foot pounds and then they want you to do a 60 degree um, torque on those after you're done with those so the way they want you to do is they want you to start here on number two again uh, so we'll start number two and then there's the bolt right here in the side right here uh, they, you know we do tw in 22 foot pounds there and then we jump back up to the outer side up here and put 22 foot pounds there and then we go down to three we put 22 foot pounds there and then we go back up to three and then 20 you know 22 foot pounds there and then spin the engine make sure everything's good and vice versa okay so then once we're done with those then we do the outer ones and then the outer ones would be pretty much the same you know foot pounds which is 22 and the same you know degrees is 60 oh wait wait reverse that we got to do the degrees on on these ones so once you're done torquing these on the 22 foot pounds and the outer bolts uh the side bolts i mean um now we do of course the degrees so then we go back down to two 60 degrees right here and then we go up to two, six degrees up there, and then we go into three, six degrees down here, and then we go up back to three, six degrees up there. Once you're done with those, spin the engine, make sure everything's good. If everything is good, you can proceed next to the last and final uh, torque and <laughs> and um, and sequence. So after that, 
they want you to start here at number one bearing cap on this side and so you repeat that process again so 22 foot pounds right here go back up to one 20 foot pounds up there and go back and then after that you jump all the way back down to four over here and do 22 foot pounds up here down here and then you go back up to four and then do 22 foot pounds up there spin the engine make sure everything is tight and smooth um no resistance you know i just like to double check make sure everything is you know spinning freely because you just never know um and after that after you're done doing the 20 foot pounds on those corners then we go back up to one on the lower end and we do the final uh pass at 60 degrees down here go back up to one six degrees up there and then we go back all the way to on four and six degrees right here and we go up that uh up to four up here and then we do six degrees and that is um pretty much the whole sequence and torque specifications uh, on the bearing, main bearing caps on these uh, traverses, Acadias, Outlooks, uh, Enclaves. Um, I'm sure if you're, you know, I myself, I'm just a whole mechanic, you know, I, you know, um, comfortable doing this, but it's, it's a very delicate job and these are the type of things you really want to make sure everything's been, you know, properly torqued. Um, and then uh, sequence because of course that's why you know the repairman exists but like I said not a, not, a, not a lot of us have that um, access to those and like I said I struggled myself trying to figure out how to properly do it so I just want to put a video out there and help you guys out um, so, you know just to spread the knowledge out there and not get really stingy with it but um yeah so once you're done that you know like I just said just just spin it and make sure everything's you know running pretty smooth there uh, but yeah, if any questions, um, just you know, please comment. Um, I'll get back at you uh, as soon as I can. Um, it's my first video I'm uploading, so I know I'm kind of a little bit talkative about it. But I just want to make sure you guys, you know, follow the sequence thoroughly and just make sure you know nothing gets really skipped on that. So, but um, if any other questions, like I said, just make you know, please comment on my video, and then we'll go from there. But if not, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day or night. Thank you. Bye.